Solar panels aren't just for sunny climates, they also work under cloud cover. If you're located in a variable climate, stick around, because today we're covering the facts about how solar panels work in cloudy weather and how developers implement unique designs to maximize your system's energy output. Hi, I'm Jelani Anthony, and this is Going Solar with Pivot Energy. If you're based in a region that experiences seasonal weather changes or a notable amount of cloud cover throughout the year, it's understandable to have fears about embarking on a commercial solar project. But there's good news. Sunlight still reaches the ground year round. And because of that, solar can produce up to 25% of its optimum energy output in full cloud cover. Additionally, some cold weather states like Illinois, Colorado, and New York have statewide incentive programs in place that make commercial solar even more more advantageous than sunnier states like Florida. As we like to say at Pivot, geography isn't destiny. Why do we say that? Well, regardless of weather, solar panels are an asset that can save you thousands of dollars per year on your electric bill and operational costs. We actually walked through a sample commercial client and their solar ROI in that video. Give it a watch when we're done here. And did you know that solar panels actually work best in cold weather when the electrons are at rest? Plus, if your facility is located in a variable climate, there are several ways to increase your solar system's output. Let's talk about them. For starters, solar panel maintenance is a simple yet sometimes overlooked aspect of keeping your system at peak function. It might not seem like dust, dirt, pollen, and bird droppings would be enough to reduce energy production, but the buildup of residue can cause up to 30% of lost output per month. If you include operations and maintenance in your contract, your developer will take care of this step for you. But if you don't have O&M, you'll want to hire a contractor for regular cleanings. This also applies to electrical maintenance. Getting inspections of your equipment and connections at least once a year will identify and address issues in a timely manner. Loose inverter connections, damaged wiring, and cracked cells become more likely as your system ages, so it's always a top priority to catch things early and avoid bigger problems later on. Feel free to leave a comment below with any questions you have, and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Another way to improve energy production in cloudy weather is with a solar plus energy storage system. By investing in energy storage, you ensure that any excess electricity produced by your system during the day is safely tucked away in solar batteries. When it starts getting cloudy or dark and the panels produce less energy, you can rely on your energy storage system to be a backup power source. Energy storage is also incredibly helpful during peak demand hours throughout the day when energy use spikes and opportunistic utility companies take the chance to increase your electricity rate. With energy storage, you can pull from your power bank instead of paying for pricey peak demand charges. I know AI is the cool new thing, but energy storage systems have been using artificial intelligence for years to store and deploy energy at the most efficient time. You can learn more about it in this video. While you're at it, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell so you never miss the latest on all things solar. Another way to avoid spikes and the resulting utility price hikes is by staggering heavy energy usage. For example, if your facility is operating heavy machinery throughout the day, create a schedule so that these operations are spaced out and energy isn't fluctuating heavily. This avoids the risk of draining your panels all at once and drawing energy from the grid. This is especially true when it's cloudy and the level of solar output is already reduced. And if you're curious to learn how your electricity bill will change when you install solar, watch this video. Now, on to the final tip. In most circumstances, and especially in variable climates, you'll want to consider installing smart solar inverters that have a maximum power point tracking, or MPPT. These are advanced controllers that adjust solar panel voltage to make sure your system is operating at peak efficiency. Traditional inverters operate at a fixed voltage and current, regardless of cloud cover or temperature, which is a major disadvantage in variable climate. MPPT inverters are more expensive, but they will also save you money in the long run because they increase the energy output of your system by up to 30%, even in cloudy weather and low light. This also increases battery efficiency and improves the reliability of your system long term. It's a win-win. With all that said, how do you know if solar is right for you? If you're still on the fence, reach out to the Pivot team. Our expert team at Pivot is here to be your solar partner and create a customized solar solution for your business, regardless of your local weather pattern. Between strategic placement, regular maintenance, energy storage solutions, and installing MPPT inverters, our goal is to help you achieve energy independence, meet your sustainability goals, and unlock high savings. We will guide you through every step of the process, from planning to financing and tax benefits, developing and maintaining your dream commercial solar project. Learn more in this video about Pivot's holistic approach to solar. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell. If you're ready to get started, head to pivotenergy.net. You can also contact Contact me directly using my email listed in the description. Thanks for watching and see you next time.